this is Christy Joe Block with Edina Realty, and I'm here with John and Susan Soderholm, and I'm on their five acre beautiful hobby farm just north of Wilmer on First Street North. Oh, yeah. Been here 22 eat. years, you said. Correct. Yep, wonderful time. We're so, how we've came about this place was we wanted to be close to town because Susan worked, as, worked at Rice Hospital, and so to have a, a accessible to the, and, to go ride at the fairgrounds and ride in the back here, take off. And, you know, we've had sleigh rides here. And the last few years, we've turned this into a a daycare center for horses. Our friends, the Haglins and, and Joel Johnson and his wife have had a mother and babies here. So this has been a daycare center for horses the last few years. Mm -hmm. But it's time for us to find someone that's gonna enjoy it like we did, Christy. What are some of the favorite things about this property? What do you love about it? Oh, it's so peaceful. We can sit out here in the mornings and have our coffee and evening time. And and we've got the back view of all the wild animal, of the deer in the winter time. We sit back in our sun porch and enjoy so many great things and we never had time to really have a garden like we should have we sure we got rhubarb and we got <laughs> some raspberry stuff but asparagus asparagus and things like that but you got some apple trees you got yep. apple, apple trees tree. yeah, yeah the best apple tree in candy Oye county i believe <laughs> but we've got a view of the lake across right across from our front porch so we can sit and enjoy king, king lake king lake yeah right across right across the road Lots of activity down on the highway. You know, there's we got the tower road, so we got just fun to watch, watch people walking and biking. And mm -hmm. it's, you know, great it's neighborhood, nice great view. neighbors across the road. We have get togethers in the winter time. We've had all gatherings there. So yeah, it's a, it's a very happy neighborhood to be in. So a uh, great place to enjoy, right kick back and just enjoy the, the views here. Tell me about the progression of the house. I know this was an older farmhouse that you guys totally renovated. Can you tell me about that whole process? Sure, this house goes back to the Olson uh, family that had the whole, right across the road, they moved a piece of this house from the brother across. So this is a hundred and, well, it was 128 years when we bought. And so we've been here 20, so now it's 148 years old. So. Yes, it is. The original part. The original part, mm -hmm. yep. Then we built on um, the sunroom and the addition and remodeled and all new wiring, all new, you know, we put in all the new features and mm -hmm. new insulation, new wiring, yes. new sheetrock, new windows, new yep. kitchen cabinets. Yep. And um, you added the pole shed and the, the shop and the barn for the horses when yes. you guys moved in? Yes, and then we ended up tarring it and putting underground fencing in for our dogs. And and we ended up putting the outdoor watering for the horses. So we put in a lot of features that we, and a sprinkler system for the grass. And so, yeah, we've added amenities to just make it easy and comfortable for being living here. So it's... It's a fun place to be, really. Well, Christy, we looked so, I don't know how long, but Susan and I started looking and we rented the old uh, Bethesda Nursing Home Farm over here many years ago for our horses. And we drove by and this place was purchased and they were just working on doing uh, part of it. And so when we saw this opportunity, we uh, drove up and there were five cars already lined up that day and we were the fifth one and we ended up coming up and we put earnest money down right away that day um, and what happened was the reason is the proximity to town to the golf course to the oaks and to the golf course and to rice hospital like i mentioned for susan to go into town and drive um, but then we'd see all of our friends from the 4-h with their horses go by here every Monday and then Thursdays and it was easy for us to take our grandkids up to the fairgrounds and throw our horses in and ride and so yeah um, the, the part about really enjoying this piece of property is the the proximity to tarred roads and no gravel that we can just jump on a very accessible all the way to 
back into Wilmer and New London and Spicer. And so, yeah, we've really enjoyed this here. Um, and the extra garage space that we that we added oh, was you, a real yeah. bonus for us to, as it turned out when we moved here, we could see that we needed some equipment. So we kept adding equipment and then we added some additional storage for our equipment. So, but yeah, overall it's been, we, th yeah, I, I just wanted to add that we've had some fun times like with the grandkids, well, I mean, just with John and I, saddling up the horses and going for a ride in the back of our property or taking a sleigh ride out in the pastures or going across the street over to the development across the street and just letting people mm -hmm. run out of their houses and say hi to us, see us with our grandkids on the sleigh. Mm -hmm. um, we always did sleigh rides out in the pasture at Christmas time. John would put the bells on the horses and <laughs> and yeah, so we've had some fun fun memories out here. Talk lots, of lots of family time that we've had a lot of people that our family comes and so we've had people with their RVs come and camp out here with us and stay with us and spend the weekends with us. So we've had so many family activities that it's been so fun that we'll certainly miss but we've had, we're blessed to have had 22 years yeah. right talk about the talk about the the shop and the what you you've got a great part part of that building you've got like a shop area and then the other part you've turned into a, a horse you've got some horse stalls in there and a tack room and just talk about that setup for a little bit because it's very well planned out and um, suitable for horse, you know, if you want to put livestock here, whether it's cows or horses or llamas, or you could, you can modify it for sheep, goats. Just talk about um, the setup that you've got out there and how that's worked over the years for you. Well, maybe the, the real win-win um, is going to be the part of having a hobby farm where people can now uh, experience the fact that, hey, uh, if it's goats, if it's chickens, you want to raise all types of things on this type of farm, you can do that. I mean, you got, uh, you know, 4.9, almost five acres of, of property to do that. And so my vision, of course, was to have the accessibility that we could back in with a, with a load of hay, tip the hay, put storage up, and we got uh, box stalls for three horses, and they can come and go with the outside water or back and forth, and then uh, the additional shed for RV or horse trailers or storage equipment was a real bonus and and we washed you know at accessible so we could wash and clean everything up and so yeah we were I think it's a move in ready for someone Absolutely. to say we're yep. ready to move in here yeah. turnkey property turnkey. hobby farm right yep um, well the Kind of the interesting point that I can bring up about living here, and people are certainly going to be uh, looking at their own environment these days, and the environment meaning the safety part. The and of course the one thing we've 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 known for sure is places like this will keep you in good shape and good health and mentally, you know, it really does give you a boost to do the work and to be active. And I know. It was so much fun to bring our grandkids here to learn how to do work and to understand that you can't have animals without doing work mm -hmm. and without having work to do. Those it's very are satisfying. Pretty darn, mm -hmm. pretty important to the way of life that is going to, it's coming back. So peace of mind and living on a, on an acreage sure is going to be a win-win for the families that want to look at this and raise their own vegetables and do things here because the garden is ready to to go. I mean, this is uh, the benefit of having um, living in the rural, out in the out in the country. This is country living. So, mm -hmm. and, but, yet, and yet we're not alone. We've got we've got neighbors all over the place. Uh, there, a development across the street, so there's lots of walkers, bikers, motorcycles. There's lots of activity all the time. Uh, mm -hmm. There's always activity out here. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there are many acreages that I've looked at to find like ours right now. I don't think there's a lot of them available. So, no, there isn't. So accessible to New London. We can be in New London. We can be in Spicer. We can be in Wilmer. 
and we can be out the Games Lake if you want, or we can throw the horses in the trailer and ride out to Sibley, Sibley. and mm -hmm. you know, so. All within 10, 15 minutes. Exactly. Yep. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, they deliver pizzas out here. They deliver. <laughs> yeah, they do. Good point. They Good do. point. Yes. Yep. Yes. Uh, probably the two features of, of the house that I enjoy is my kitchen. It's I've got such wonderful workspace in the kitchen. I've got a huge center island, so like when we make lefsa or whatever, we've just got place to spread out, and it, it never seems crowded. When we have company, when we entertain, it seems like everybody always everybody always congregates in your kitchen, mm -hmm. and it doesn't even feel um, congested in right. the kitchen when people are. I can have seven, eight ladies in the kitchen with me, visiting while I'm preparing a meal, and it doesn't. It's not a big deal at all. Uh -huh. And then of course we love well, we love the living room because we have such a great view looking outside, watching watching the activity, watching the horses out in the pasture when we've had horses. So we've always loved our living room and it's, it's just so nice and big and spacious. We've got the wonderful fireplace. We burn the fireplace all the time in the winter. It's on it's on a thermostat so it just runs all the time. So mm -hmm. if, um, and we love the porch. Our four season porch, we love that mainly spring, summer, and fall. We always go out there and just sit out on the porch. We entertain out on the porch a lot. Um, everybody likes everybody likes to sit out there. Because uh -huh. you've got all the big patio doors and windows, so it's, you have a nice view of the outdoors sitting mm -hmm. inside. So, yeah. Awesome. And, and the house is so cool. And the, I mean, the air conditioning hardly runs. Uh, that We're really fortunate to come in here and it's always so cool and then I think about our wintertime Christmas get-togethers when everybody comes they don't want to leave because we got access so they can put their vehicles in our garage and so they don't have they don't want they don't have to worry about wintertime um, storing and snowstorms and things like that. so we've been really lucky to to have a place like this yep we've enjoyed it a lot yeah. well I just wanted to mention you know that everybody knows where our property is and everybody says your property is going it's so beautiful and it's going to sell I no matter where I am I can meet somebody in New London I can meet somebody in Wilmer and they'll say where do you live and I'll start describing well you turn on County Road 25 and you go past Eagle Lake Church and then you turn at the first left on County Road 41 and they'll everybody will say right away do you live in that place with the white fences that is such a beautiful place everybody knows Everybody knows where we live. They don't know us, but they know where we live. 